everybody, we are the Babes of Bourbon. I am Megan Rudder. And I am Eric Rudder. Today we are very excited to sample the Bardstown Bourbon Prisoner. And the Prisoner Wine. Ooh. Uh, <laughs> um, Getting fancy today, folks. Yeah, technically it's not for, I mean, it's bourbon, but it's finished. So, because Bard sounds up, honest, up front and honest at all times, technically sure they call it whiskey instead of bourbon, but it's bourbon and then it's finished in wine barrels, so they call it whiskey. That is interesting. Mm -hmm. I actually did not know that. As I, <laughs> you guys may know this about me at this point if you've watched some of our videos, I am so bad with like little details. <laughs> I'm really good like with the overall, mm -hmm. like, oh, this is the big picture. And then ask me like, oh, what's the master distiller's name again? I'll be like, I don't know. Like <laughs> they were from X, Y, and Z and they did blah, 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 but I don't yeah. know what their name is. <laughs> but yeah, there's a big uh, contention in the whiskey world, whether if bourbon finished in um, wine barrels, wine barrels or rum barrels is really bourbon or not um really yeah so that's interesting Bart sounds up front then they just call it whiskey. whiskey yep that's nice mm -hmm. but um yeah so we think they don't really disclose what um whiskey they're using like which brand yes but we're pretty sure it's dickle yes it's a tennessee whiskey <laughs> <laughs> they call it um, a tennessee whiskey <laughs> and the mash bill um lines up with what Dicko is. Mm -hmm. So I'm pretty sure it's that. Yeah. So um that's our best guess. And then yeah. of course, like Eric just said, finishing the prisoner um wineries, red wine barrels. Mm -hmm. So we have their um red wine. This one is a blend. Um the guy at Total Wine where we found it said <laughs> it's kind of like a uh, Zinfandel, he said? Yeah, I think that's kind Zinfandel. of like a Zinfandel, but it's it's a mix for sure. Yep. Um and the picture on the front is the same that's on the back of the bottle. So we're 90% sure. We picked the right bottle. Yes. Because <laughs> <laughs> be there were two different ones. And luckily one was out of stock, so we went with this one. <laughs> but Megan loves wine, so we I just want to love wine. To see try the whiskey and then see if there's any similarities yeah exactly um because as we're going to get into it with the tasting this is a very unique whiskey mm -hmm. um and we have tried other like wine finished bourbons didn't we do the like series of that yes we did yeah. in january yeah <laughs> which i totally remember <laughs> see the details guys i was thinking about the ones we have and i was like oh yeah we do have it um uh, but this one is like different it's a whole different classification yes. so we really wanted to compare it to the actual wine it's finished in and see what notes of that it's picking up absolutely should we get started let's get started huh. mm. so, the nose is sorry yeah. I didn't mean to cut no you, you go the nose is really interesting to me mm -hmm. because the first time we did nose it um, I personally get a little bit of like nuttiness. I get mm -hmm. dark fruits, but there was like something on it that I couldn't place. And Eric was like, Megan, it's a red wine. And I was <laughs> like, oh my gosh, yeah. <laughs> like I knew it was finished in red wine barrels, but I did not like think it's going to smell like red wine a little bit, but just a little at the end of it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I am getting those nuts still that you're talking. It's mm -hmm. not as pronounced as when first opening the bottle. Mm -hmm. Um, and then I'm getting, I'm going to say plums. Ooh, it does kind of smell like plums a bit. Mm -hmm. Maybe a little bit of strawberry. Mm -hmm. Like very light, very aromatic strawberry. It's very fruity. It is. It is. And if you have had red wine before, which most people in their life have, mm -hmm. um, when you're drinking a red wine, there's usually that bit of dryness right at the back of your throat. You almost kind of get that in the nose. There's like mm -hmm. something just right at the end mm -hmm. that's like, I don't know how a smell can be drying, but it has, like, you know how your mouth and your nose are connected. It has like that effect on me. I really enjoy the smell on this. I could yeah. nose this yeah. quite a while. It's like the nuttiness with the red fruity. Fruit and the wine finish. It just needs a little cheese in there. And then yeah. Like oh my gosh. This would be bar. so good with cheese. <laughs> If you ever had like a cheese board and you're having people over mm -hmm. and they don't love wine, but they like whiskey, this would be an amazing pairing. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, we should probably take a sip. Oh, Absolutely. disclaimer, guys. I think this is a polarizing bottle. 
-hmm. I think people are either going to love it or they're going to absolutely hate it. And I'm not sure that there's an in-between with those. (laughs) Do you agree? Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) I would agree. It's so unique. Let me get another sip. Wow. That was my first sip of bourbon of the day. So I really needed to get multiple before. Yep, this is a hundred proof, so not super high, but not super low either. So it's a good, good yep. starter for the day. Um I am getting a lot of those fruit notes. Oh yeah. Um tons. Almost a little cherry. Um yeah. Like almost, you know, um for a Wisconsin old fashioned, like you use those like dark, deep cordial cherries. Mm-hmm. Like almost like one of those, if it's kind of dried out of its syrup. Mm-hmm. I get, now I don't know if they'll say this on the review. This is my personal <laughs> taste. I get like a slight either like leather or tobacco like mm-hmm. taste in there. Maybe that's on the finish. I do like either smoking it. Yeah, I think that's on the finish. Or a cigar. Yeah. Like there's something about that like dry leaf flavor in there. It's either... I think it, tobacco, if I had to guess, um, it is smoky. I don't smoke a lot of tobacco. Um, a very few cigars, mom and dad. <laughs> like once in a blue moon. <laughs> <laughs> if the moon was blue every week. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> the moon's blue only once a month. Oh, is it? <laughs> That's more accurate, but okay. <laughs> um, but yeah, this is, um, I really enjoy it. Yeah. It's nice fruity. Of course, it's finished in red wine. My predominant fruit that's coming forward is that cherry on the palate, like Megan was saying, the cordial cherries. Mm-hmm. I am getting a little bit of that plum, I think, mm-hmm. coming through. Plum you doesn't have, have it. Yes. Sorry, see, I didn't mean to cut you oh, off. Oh, yeah, going. no. I yep. get that plum and cherry, too. And then on that finish, I'm getting that smokiness mixed with a little bit of that nut flavor is coming back for me. Yeah. yeah. And like, I, I did look, of course, I like looking on the websites to see what they get. Cause obviously we've opened the bottle. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't think that they really said that there is much nuttiness in it, but I, I really get it. Oh yeah. So it's 100% there. So yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, if it's not on the website, they're just wrong. <laughs> People that made it are wrong. <laughs> um, and while you open that up, yeah. we can just talk about pricing. Oh, and yeah. It is a $125 bottle. So it ain't cheap, folks. It's not cheap. Um, and It'd be it's nice if you could... <sighs> Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off yeah. again. I am terrible. <laughs> I'm just like, whoop, it's Megan's show. Here we go. But like, if you could sample it ahead of time, mm-hmm. I would highly recommend. It's hard if you're not like actually at Bardstown in Kentucky. Because I haven't, I mean, I haven't seen it anywhere. The caveat to that, if you like how their port finished, um, finished bourbons, whiskeys, I think you will end up enjoying this. Mm-hmm. If, like, you like the Woodenville, Angel's Envy, um, what's the other one? Bowman. Yeah, if you like all of those. Favorite. This is definitely an upgrade to those. Yeah. I don't I know if it's a $75 upgrade to those, but it is yeah. an upgrade. <laughs> it's like the most similar to the wooden bill. Yes. Um, which we very much like. Um, but even compared to that, it's in its own ballpark of mm-hmm. just uniqueness. Um, the finish too, I didn't, <laughs> I was lo- allowing the finish to finish, but then I took a sip of water because I do want to get a clean, like a clean palette to try the wine. And then I want to compare We've never, um, with our other wine finished bourbons, we haven't um, gotten the wine to taste. We were like, do we go wine first or do we do bourbon first? And since we're a bourbon channel, we did bourbon first. (laughs) So we didn't want our palate to be distorted in any way, but we do want to do that comparison. Um, I'm excited about this. I mean, this you can tell us. I mean, I don't know much about wine, but I can smell it from here. So I feel like it's a Mm. quality wine. That really is. Quality. 
like a koala bear. Cheers. Cheers. I'm excited. Wow. Okay, so this to me is really interesting because I'm getting so many dark fruits off of this that mm -hmm. I could smell in that like Yep. This wine is just a punch in the face of cherry, strawberry, plum. Mm -hmm. Like really, really fragrant in a wonderful way. This is one of the best smelling wines I've ever had. I don't drink a lot of red wine, disclaimer, but I really love the smell of this. And when you're going back to nosing the whiskey, it really... It comes out in there. Yeah, it does. That's and that's pretty cool too to know that like obviously things that are finished they're finished in those mm -hmm. barrels for a reason. Mm -hmm. But whoever decided, hey, we're using prisoner red wine barrels, mm -hmm. like to shake their hand and say thank you. <laughs> yeah, I really love what Pirate Song's doing there, like pairing up with these companies um, that are recognized in their own spirit wine world yeah. and um, yeah, pairing up with them. That's awesome. Mm. Mm. So it's nice, light, fruity. Um, Very light. The nose on this wine is like super strong. The taste, like Eric just said, very light, very fruity. And interestingly enough, not a drying red no. wine. Like it's not like sucking the life out of your tongue like some red wine does. I mean, I'm getting those strawberry notes if I had a. <laughs> mm -hmm. Wow. I see why they chose this wine. I don't love wine, and this is absolutely delicious, in my opinion. And it's nice and light. It absolutely, I mean, that is a, <laughs> okay, disclaimer guys, we did spend a lot on this video, but we wanted to really give the prisoner bottle at Bardstown what it deserves. Um, this bottle of wine, I think is $42. Yep, we had a $5 coupon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so really, it was only 37. Yes. Um, if you are a red wine drinker or like maybe your partner is or someone, you know, that you want to give them a nice gift, get this prisoner wine. Mm -hmm. Absolutely incredible. Um, it's so interesting to me that the nose on it is super strong, but the flavor profile is very light, very drinkable, doesn't dry out your tongue. And when we go back to the bourbon, you're getting like that same nose like those same fruity flavors, and you're just getting the, the lightest taste of it at the back of your tongue. And what I would say is really interesting, this smells really dark. Um, it has those dark notes up front. The bourbon? The wine. Oh, the wine. But the whiskey does too. But then when you go to drink the whiskey, I'm getting more of that strawberry, um, lighter notes than it gets followed up with that tobacco mm -hmm. nuttiness mm -hmm. finish. And what's interesting to me is I just took wine, water, bourbon, and usually, <laughs> I've done this before where I was drinking red wine and then um, Eric was drinking bourbon and I finished my glass and like he gave me some of his bourbon and it tasted disgusting. Mm -hmm. It tasted so bad. This to this actually is mm -hmm. really good. Like it enhances the flavor, which is like, okay, obviously you came from those barrels, so it's a good thing mm -hmm. you enhance the flavor. So this we... is fun. This is so experimental. This is probably my favorite video because I love red wine. Should we get the scoring? Yeah. All right. Um, nose. Do you want to go first? I'm thinking. Okay. Um I can go first then. Yeah. Um for me it's the favorite part of this whiskey. Um I really think it smells good. I'm going to give it a 1.5 out of two. I like that fruitiness and the dark fruit coming through. Mm -hmm. I am also going to give it a 1.5 out of two. I think it is incredibly unique. Um, I think it's really distinguishable too. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that's a word, distinguishable. <laughs> um, but it's like, you know how sometimes you like know it's a bourbon and you're like, I can't get anything. It smells like bourbon. Like this one, it kind of is a boost of confidence because you can actually pull out different mm -hmm. flavor profiles in the nose, which is really fun for me. Yeah. Um, and it's just unique. All right. Taste. Taste. Out of three. I am going to give it a 1.5 as well here. Um, I really enjoy it. Um, it is one of my favorite finished um, 
whiskeys mm-hmm. and red wine. Um, yeah, I just enjoy it. I think mm-hmm. it tastes really good. Um, maybe wish there was a little more to it. I don't know. Uh, let's give it a 1.75. 1. There, 7, yeah, 5. there is a lot there. Well, and like disclaimer, like Eric said, he doesn't really drink a lot of wine. Mm-hmm. So for you, you have you like more of like a smoky profile mm-hmm. where it's like this is a good bourbon, but it may just not be for him. Um, for me, I'm going to give this a two out of three. Very nice. Um, like we said, I think it's flavorful. I think it's fun. I think it's interesting to have that wine in there. Um, why I'm not giving it the full three points or anything over two is that like the prisoner is something that I would pull out and I would have one pour of, and I mm-hmm. really enjoy that one pour, but it's not the bourbon or excuse me, the whiskey that I would drink like the whole day. Mm-hmm. Not that I would drink bourbon for a whole day, guys. <laughs> that doesn't happen in this household. Um, sometimes. But it's like, it would be like a one and done for me where this is like a showstop or something to pair with like a steak, a mm-hmm. cheese board, something like that, rather than I could drink this all night. Which is good at $125. You're not going to go yeah, through that bottle Yeah, you don't want to go quick. through it too quickly. <laughs> um... Finish. Out of two. I really enjoy the finish. I do too. Um, I like that nuttiness, um, smokiness. I it actually brings the bourbon roots back. Mm-hmm. Um I am going to give this a 1.5 mm-hmm. on the finish as well. I am too. Um I think like what Eric just said, the Like the finish is long lasting. It's very similar to the nose, Mm -hmm. which I'm not sure if that's like a red wine finish thing, but the nose and the finish, you're getting the same flavors for the most part, which I don't usually have that happen with Mm -hmm. bourbons and whiskeys. So that's pretty cool. All right. Pricing and availability. This one's hard. I'm just going to say it out of three. It's going to be a one. Yeah. Because it's expensive. You can't really find it. Um, I don't know if this bottle is going to be like mass produced and readily available year to year, but I highly doubt it based on their other Mm -hmm. um, products. And I don't know if it's for everybody. Um, Yeah. And the other thing is it is um, George Dickel whiskey, most likely, which if you know the price of George Dickel whiskey, that's Mm -hmm. like 50 to $60, even for like a, this is nine year, even for like a 15 year, it's like that. I know they released that fi- uh, 15 single barrel, which is like $60 about. And they're finishing it in a wine barrel for 18 months and charging $125. Yeah. Um, you have to think like yes. Barstown is very much about the glitz, the glam, mm-hmm. the, the modernness of it. Like the transparency, and they are charging more oh. for their products in comparison to their counterparts. Especially for yeah, these finished wine barrels. Yeah. Um, there is a premium, so I'm going to give it the one out of three as well. Yeah. yeah. So for me, that's a six out of ten. For Eric, I think that was probably a five point seven five. Yes. Yeah. Um, I definitely think it's worth a try. Um, mm-hmm. if you do end up finding this bottle. Open it, try it, and then leave it for like two weeks. Because when we first opened it, I am not going to lie to you. It was not what we sampled when we were there. (laughs) I was like, ooh, did we just make a mistake? (laughs) Were we just really drunk after the tour? (laughs) Did we just have like five samples and think, this was amazing. But then we let it sit open for um, two weeks. And it was like, okay, this is what I was tasting. Yes. This is good. Um... Yeah, I'm giving it a 5.75 out of 10. I would still definitely recommend trying it at a bar at least. This is definitely something you would maybe love. So definitely give it a try and see if you really enjoy it. I think it's worth $125 if you enjoy it. Um, But if you don't enjoy it, then you're probably going to be very disappointed that you spent yeah. that money. But based off of the other pour, 
lines that we did early on mm -hmm. in the year, this is a superior product yeah. to those. We may have to like compare it to Wooden Bill someday, mm -hmm. their port finish, because like the difference between pricing is pretty substantial. Um, but we, and that one was really good as well. Yeah, we did do it off camera a little bit and we definitely noticed a difference there. Yeah. And it, I would say it was substantially different, especially mm -hmm. when it came to the nosing and tasting. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie guys, I forgot we did that when we got home <laughs> until Aaron just said it. I was like, oh, we did do that, didn't we? Yeah. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> We drink so much bourbon, guys. It's hard to remember sometimes. <laughs> but yeah. Um, and a side note too, guys. Um, the visit we did in Kentucky, we mm. went to Bardstown. That was the first thing we did because we were with um, some family and mm. they hadn't been to Kentucky before. And we wanted to do something that was a bit of a showstopper. So we started with Bardstown and oh my God, it was a total showstopper. Like, I know it's new. I think they've only been around for four years now. Four to five, yeah. Um but the quality of their tour was amazing. It was, they were like thieving out of their um, own products and it was the products that they themselves are making mm -hmm. and distilling, not like the sourced yep. bourbon. Um, it's called the Barrel Thieving Tour. It is so good. I would highly, highly recommend it if you're ever in Kentucky. Um, it is $30, but you do get Worth a, it. Glenn Karen with it even, so. Yeah. Um, <laughs> oh yeah, look at this, our parts from Glen Karen. Yes, it is totally worth it. So yeah. it's really like $15 once yeah. you. Because when you think about it, like medicine. most distilleries do charge you anywhere from like nine to $15 for your Glen Karen, mm -hmm. if you're getting it with their stamp. Um, we went around the grounds, we went into their warehouse, we did some thieving, we thieved from three barrels. And then we went into um, this super beautiful, they do everything glitzy and glammy and mm -hmm. like high end, which is fun. Um, they took us into like a tasting room that had all their bottles and it had like all this velvet furniture and they gave us another pour, I think of their Fusion 4 yes. series in there too. So you got four tastings plus the Glen Karen. Um, and then their restaurant and their bar inside is so fun. Like, it's just great service, great drinks, good food, um, yeah. a tad expensive. We'll put that out there. It's not too bad, but it is a little bit on the pricier. Of course, yeah. everything with Bardstown, they're doing... It's going to be a yeah. little pricier, but it's like a wow mm -hmm. moment. And even though it's pricier, they do everything with, like, style and mm -hmm. really good hospitality. It's worth the price. It absolutely is. So yeah. go give it a chance. And not to give all the tips because we're probably going to do a Kentucky video at some Ooh. point. But definitely buy one of their old fashions, whether if you oh want to drink God, it yeah. there or they have it to go get their barrel age old fashioned. It is one of the best at the bar, it was so old good. fashions I've ever tasted. Yeah. It is delicious. And what we really liked about that is that, you know, it's not from Wisconsin, so it doesn't have the, the Sprite or the Squirt mm -hmm. in it, not as much simple syrup. We loved it as like bourbon drinkers and my mom also had one and she still loved it too. And she is a sweet tooth kind of gal and she drinks. <laughs> so the fact that it was like a crowd pleaser for people that like meat bourbon versus someone that likes mm -hmm. it doused in simple syrup and Sprite, <laughs> which we do too, but <laughs> it was superb. Yes. Excellent overall. One of the best things I've ever tasted. <laughs> yeah. And there were great like photo opportunities there too. The whole yeah. place was beautiful. We'll post some of those on our Instagram this week. Um, so go check us out at the Babes of Bourbon. Um, hope you love this video. Like, subscribe, comment, and share. Yes, absolutely. All those things. Um, yeah. Other than that, I hope you guys have a fabulous week. Yes. Keep drinking. Have a great week. <laughs> Bye. Bye. <laughs>